What's up guys and welcome back to Plants vs Zombies Heroes and today we're going to be showing off yet another Valen Brains event card with the one that's actually currently going on. This is the first time we've done an event card while it's going on for like a while if like ever but this is the Blooming Heart. It is a flower plant. When this does damage it gets plus one damage. It's also a Kaboom plant. Sometimes we hurt the ones we love. Blooming Heart knows this all too well. So the idea is that she loves zombies for my idea. I know she's been in PvZ2 for a while, which is very interesting. But yeah, we're gonna have to think of a decent deck configuration with her. I really don't know who'd be best with her though. It's an interesting combo no matter what because we gotta make sure she's protected, she's Kaboom. So what Kaboom characters do we currently have? Let me first evaluate that. It looks like we have Solar Flare, and we have um, Nightcap, and that's it. Those are the two Kaboom characters we currently have. So maybe Solar Flare would be better, because she definitely has like a defensive setup we can figure out. I haven't played Solar Flare in the longest time, so this will actually be pretty fun. Let me go ahead and try to figure out a Solar Flare uh, Blooming Heart combo. So I'm not particularly an expert with solar flare strategies, but I tried to sort of, you know, figure something out here where I have sort of a mostly low cost defensive build. That way, if something goes out and tries to attack my blooming heart, which is a one cost plant, it's very cheap for how good it is. So honestly, if we could get it out early game, it could be pretty scary. If we could get out turn one, bury anything, you know, that pops out in turn two, honestly, we could get a scary setup rolling just with that. So that's how we're gonna roll with this solar flare setup I think everything is good with it so we should be able to just go ahead and give it a shot and see if things work out um, I have really no idea beyond that so let's go ahead and give it a shot and see how things work out let's search for an opponent and let's see what we get okay we get an electric boogaloo which shouldn't be too bad I'm gonna turn down my sound really quickly so it's not exploding my poor zebra ears because it currently is I hope there's no like mic feedback because it is very windy day outside. That's why I'm like not recording like any internet heavy games, which is f just funny because most of the games I record require an internet connection at this point. But on um, you know, PVC Heroes, like I can play it with a mobile connection and it's fine. But like going to Warfare 2 and stuff, it's just like the internet's been so bad because of the ridiculous wind that I just haven't been able to play the games I normally play. But he did not play anything, which probably means he has something. So I'm going to bait out. I'm going to bait out a. um. A signature superpower here, or one of his superpowers, or something like that. He could have definitely played that. Basically, right now, I want to be able to bait out any of his tricks that might destroy my Blooming Heart early. I was expecting that. Usually, you don't, you know, pass on the turn one as an electric boogaloo without something like that up your sleeve. Okay, so here, this is where things can go a little bit differently. I do not know what's going to be in there. It could be a sumo. I honestly, I always forget who has a sumo and who doesn't. Um, but. I'm gonna prepare like that. Okay, not bad. It is, uh, that sort of stinks, because I could have, you know, done that, but it's fine, because I can do two damage to him now, and then I'll do another two damage to him later, and we can figure it out this way, and we're gonna do two damage here. It's gonna give me an extra point of damage. There we go. That's actually gonna be pretty scary, then. I like that a lot. So we still have some options here. I could just definitely stall out, because that actually doubled his health. I thought it was just gonna do one instance, but I actually did two, which makes sense, because it's a, you know, Shroom Fortune. I have some options for taking him out. I'm not exactly horrified at the moment. Maybe I should be. Oh boy. But even here, I can handle this. I can handle this by actually just using my signature here. And I won't have any room to do anything else, but that's okay, I think. Because even next turn, like I can squash something if I need it. But let's see, right now I'm gonna take damage advantage for sure. It's just sort of these next few turns. Will it continue is the scary thing. I mean, I guess I could have, eh, it wouldn't have been worth it. I could have, like, pine cloned, and that could have done something. I just don't know if that would have been worth it. Well, let's see what happens here. He has 13 damage right now. <laughs> okay, that might be a little bit better. This is a good combo right here. Because I can go ahead and do the berry shooter thing, and then I can also do this. And he did nothing. He must have a trick up his sleeve then. He has to. But then let me go ahead and squash you because I could use these other cards for another opportunity. The squash is like if I have the amount of money to spend or the sun, it's not money. <laughs> I might as well. Is he really gonna let me hit him again with my 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 heart, whatever it is, blooming heart? I mean, if you want to, go right ahead. But that would be interesting for sure. And let's see. Okay, he's gonna let it happen. There's one damage to me, four damage to him. It's gonna get boosted to five now. I got some good stuff going for me. 
And if things do get sketchy, I do also have the pine clone. So it's like, you know what? Things are gonna work out pretty well here so far. What are we gonna get here? That. All right, um, hmm. What do I wanna do about that then? I think that I'll go ahead and just slam this. And I think that's all I'll worry about. Like maybe that's a total bait and he's gonna go ahead and electrify me here anyways. But even if he did, there's, you know, like I don't have an extended response to it regardless. So yeah, okay, it's just gonna keep fighting. And it's probably gonna activate his shield here. And yes, it will. Um, What's it gonna be? But this is a pretty cool card. You can see it actually works out. I've seen um, in the most recent live from PopCap, they actually showed it off with, of course, um, Spadao. Unfortunately, I do not have Spadao, or I would try it out with Spadao as well. Ooh, a zombie gets minus two, two. I'll, I'll use it here. Might as well, right? <laughs> Ain't too bad. I mean, all she has to do is do damage. Yeah, it's, it's not destroying anything, it's not damaging the enemy hero, it's just doing damage. So, that I can manage pretty well. Okay, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, that really hurt. Okay, well, I know what I'm doing here then, is probably first off, getting rid of Yoon. Now what I could do, is I can go ahead, throw you here, that's going to be shooting through. This guy due to some direct damage at the end of the turn, it should heal me up. Is this a flower? It is, so this actually will give me two HP worth of healing because of course, this guy right here, the power flower will heal, will heal for every flower. So that's gonna be two HP, very, very good. And if things turn out nasty here, I can whip out the pine clone. It's sort of like my back door right now. Ooh, you know what? It, it's really tempting to bring out the pine clone. It really is tempting. This is actually a good combo of stuff I got going on. Mmm. I don't know, I could always wait till next turn as well, if it's not something I wanna do. Like, I could just go ahead and boom, and then throw you out, and just like make this a total bait, right? And then like next turn, whatever is in this gravestone, I could just go ahead. Okay, that's not too surprising. I could have put out the pine clone, it probably would have benefited me here more. That's okay though, because at times you just gotta know when to let go. <laughs> and now is the time to let go. Because we just gotta let go, and, oh wow, you're, okay, yeah, yeah, no, I misread that. I thought that he damaged my power flower and was gonna take it out like that. That is actually a little overkill than I was expecting. Ow, that's gonna hurt. That's really gonna hurt. But I can survive this if she has no other tricks, which she does not. I just wanna do two damage to her, and it's only, or to him. All right, so if I could find something to come with the pine clone with, okay, that's something. It's not the best, but it's something. Okay, I know what to do here, and I know what to do. Oh wow, that's a lot. <laughs> He's throwing out everything but the kitchen sink. That's a good thing. I didn't want his kitchen sink anyways. Pine clone this up. That's gonna be 12 damage on the field for us, which is actually more than he has, depending on what's in this gravestone. Okay, nothing's too scary. He's probably going to get rid of uh. Man, this is still not a good situation for me. I really hope we get a good shield out of this. Like, I hope this uh, party zombie on the right there hits me and does activate the shield. That does stink, but we will still be able to survive this unless he has, okay, he doesn't have crazy tricks, so that's gonna be good. So there's that one down. Do damage to you. We got two pine cones in the center, but wow, really? Okay, that was unlucky. <laughs> I was honestly not expecting to not get the shield there. All right then, well we lost that one horribly. And I already told you guys, I'm not a solar flare expert. So we'll try that again. We had a good start. It's sort of like we lost grasp of it halfway through. All right, let's try for another round and see if this one works out any better. I mean, it's just as long as, long as we improve our play, you know? Just try to be a little bit more aware of our card placement and the implications it might have. And I think things will turn out a little bit better for us. But. Not bad, no blooming hearts yet. Well, that's okay, maybe if we start the early game off without any blooming hearts and work our way into it, it might actually work out better. It seems like a great early game card, but with that being said, depending on who we're going against, it could be easily outplayed. So, I'm gonna go ahead and throw out some puff shrooms. You know what, if he has a signature that goes against it, or just a superpower, you know, like, I'm not really too worried about it. You know, it's like, I'd rather him waste his superpower on a puff shroom than anything else, because you know what, if he doesn't do anything, I can throw out the puff shroom next turn, and that'll be good. Okay, looks like I'm gonna be able to do that. It's gonna be able to get me uh, six damage out in the field right away, which is pretty cool. That guy's not fun, but if I'm lucky, you know what, I might just wanna... 
You know what? Yeah, he just used all of his brains for that. Might as well ruin it because that's just not a fun card to go against. So no matter what, we'll give that a shot, see how that works. And we'll see how everything happens. There's another two damage for us. Only does one ar or one, yeah, one armor, one shield, so that's pretty good. What are my options here? Oh, I keep on getting these really awesome opportunities to do a ton of damage. So I'm gonna give it a shot, because you know, like, why not? Let's see how that works out. He probably has some kind of trick for that, which if he does, then awesome. Like, honestly, I'd rather him pull a trick out for that, but no, he doesn't have anything. <laughs> this poor dude, he's got nothing, apparently. Those five cards don't mean nothing. He does get some heals, but heals only go so far. If I can get rid of that health again, then, you know, like, what's the point of having it, you know? So here I can even, like, I have just a good combo. He's healing himself all the way back up to full again, but that's okay because I can go ahead, get rid of him, and I'll go ahead now and play this buff shroom. So now in total we have 11 damage back on the field. So it's like, and let's get, he gets some crazy, crazy shields here. Like, this is a huge benefit for me. And it's sort of the thing, like you wanna be able to focus heals, it stalls out the game, but if you don't have a follow-up, the heals don't matter, I'm gonna get rid of it again. Okay, and I have a lot of like offense slash defense here, which is pretty good. That's not fun to see, but I can actually get rid of it here. If I do this, no, wait, wait, is this three damage? Oh yeah, it is three damage, so I can get rid of it here. Oh my gosh, this poor dude. <laughs> What a combo, that was some great stuff there, even if we don't even get the, the Blooming Heart here. This is still crazy good. All right, well, that's gonna activate the shield. It won't be heals, so at least that's something. And bada boom, we won! Okay, easiest game of my life. <laughs> Holy cow. Okay, no Blooming Heart, but I'm glad to see things worked out at the least. That was great. But of course, if you guys have Blooming Heart and you you know tried her out a little bit, feel free to let me know what strategies you have, either with your Solar Flare or your um, Nightcap or with uh, Spadow. I'd like to hear you know all the crazy stuff you're ending up doing with it. There's our first win of the day, but not our first win with Blooming Heart. So let's go for another one. Going against another Electric Boogaloo. It didn't turn out so well last time. This guy's the same rank as me too, so he probably knows how to use Electric Boogaloo. Let's try it. Let us try it indeed. Oh, well. Not a best start. I'm gonna go ahead and reroll the Colonel Corn. And these two. And hopefully we get to see the Blooming Heart pop up sometime throughout the game. Not, not as good of a starting end as last time. I'll tell you that much. But it's something. So hopefully we can win. And we can get Blooming Heart. Like That's the combo I always want. Is you know to show off the card that we're showing off for the day. And win. But now we're just waiting for this dude to set up. However long that might take. Okay, so he's starting out with... One of those. Honestly, I could go for the risk it. You know, let's, let's risk it. Let's see, can we get it? Yeah, look at us, we got it. Okay, that was actually really lucky and really awesome. So I'm glad to see that. What else are we gonna see here though? That's it? Okay, well, I mean, he only had one brains. Of course, there wasn't too much more I could do. So that was a decent defense. Now we're gonna be able to do the introductory point of damage, which is only one armor, which is always a decent trade. Okay, so that Colonel Corn is persistent. He really wants to be a part of this mix-up. And I honestly just might not play anything here. Like, I could have played the Puff Shroom. I just don't, he's basically doing the same exact thing. What a counterplay. Okay, I could have put the Puff Shrooms out. I don't know if it would have changed his decision making at all. He still has one brains for a trick. He's not gonna use it, so he's gonna do one damage to me. But it activates more shield than mine did. Ooh, much more shield, so same health, I have a shield advantage. Ooh, here we go. This is where things can get good though. So I'm glad that things are working out the way they are so far. Let's hope they continue in that way. He's thinking about something. So he's gonna throw out that stuff, which is, you know, not too surprising. I might as well, like, I could, I have a few options, and I think maybe, I gotta get these guys buffed up sooner rather than later. So let's go ahead, put you there, and then I can go ahead and put you here. And that should work out pretty well. Everybody gets buffed up. That's eight damage on the field for me. Three, four, five, six for him. It's all about distribution, right? Sometimes. So we're gonna be able to keep the majority of our cards three out of the four. So like, I mean, that's really all I'm looking for. So that works out pretty well for me. And he's only left with like a one, one zombie, which, you know, just marks up some of my shields some more. So pretty good. All right, I'm actually really happy with this so far. We could bury that guy, so we might as well. Bada boom. 
and then I can actually, you know, defend against you and still be able to, you know, keep the card out in the field. So that's good. This is a great start so far to this round. Now just give me a blooming heart. <laughs> Let's see what we get from this. So this, we're actually getting like incredibly lucky with the shields. Like that's our first triple shield and we've hit him so many, so many times so far. Um, hmm. Okay, now we have five brains. Not a blooming heart, but you know what, the way this game's going, it's going pretty slow. So I think we have a few more opportunities for it. That's not fun to look at. Well, luckily, I have a squash. So I can go ahead and squash that dude. Squash is gonna wink at me. I appreciate it, squash. So we still have eight damage here. So this could, a little more than half his health, depending you know, if it all lands, if he doesn't have any tricks to combat it. We're doing so good. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> Maybe the tip is to put Blooming Heart in your deck, but don't actually pull it. <laughs> Once you pull it, that's the death sense. Well, I only have one team up card here, so there's really only one thing I can play. He's gonna, that's gonna be a shield. Yep, I, don't, I wouldn't have played that if I was him. But I mean, I guess it's better than nothing, right? So, I guess that's sort of the thought process. I'll go ahead and throw out a heal somewhere, or I could play defensive. Oh, let's play defensive. I mean, I've turned around a few games as Electric Boogaloo in my day, so I wouldn't want the same to happen to me, so I might as well play defensively. Just because I don't really need that extra sun right now anyways. What I'm really looking for is, you know, the continued confidence of being able to beat this dude's butt. So, that's gonna work out pretty well for me. And this is gonna activate his shield. Probably going to be a lightning strike, I can only imagine, because he hasn't had one all game, there you go. And it really doesn't matter which card he takes out at this moment. I mean, really, it's just like, what is it, seven brains? Okay, not too bad. Still no blooming heart, though. Come on, game, come on. <laughs> Make us super happy. And we have a few options here. I might as well just sort of throw, I guess my throwaway cards, I guess you could say, right now, just because I'm stalling out, I'm waiting. Okay, that card's not really gonna be too useful for him, unless he, ooh, okay. Once again, I considered it a throwaway card. He's gonna get rid of, wow, see, this is what I'm talking about. Those combos, he's really trying to clear everything out. Little does he know I have a Colonel Corn, so if he gets a full stack of characters that have four health or less, I'm gonna be able to take him out. <laughs> and there's two more health down for him. He's down to five health now. And I still haven't gotten any of my tacos, which can refill my health, so. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so that's where things get a little scary, but even then I can still work with it. Because what I could even do, is that on, put him down, hmm. Like, what, what'll this do? This'll be, do four damage to each zombie. I could do it. I could just go ahead and do four damage to him, and then this would be five, six, seven. So he's gonna refill himself up to nine, though. That's the problem. So what if I just go ahead and do this? I think this might be better. I think this might be better at the end of the day. Because then I still have, because that's gonna refill his health for two. Then I can hit him for five. And depending on how the shields work out, I should be able to actually win. Maybe that's a really dumb idea, but next turn I'm gonna be able to take care of that nurse if he doesn't have any heals for us. That's gonna be two health for him. This is gonna be five damage, come on. And then, come on. Ah, oh, he got the shield. He got it. Oh well. Wow, okay. Going a little overboard, but that's okay. Still no blooming art. Still no blooming art. Come on. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, I have not seen this guy in play, I don't think. Uh, these amphibious frenzy afterlife is the correct term. So what does afterlife mean in this? When this is destroyed, you get to play it. You can play it a second time. Holy cow, dude, calm down. Um. Well, I might as well do this. I'll be able to get rid of him this turn. And then uh, I'll just play you here and then we'll go with it. I mean, he has so many cards that I can only assume that he has some kind of combating trick. But he, he really tried to pull out the stops towards the end. He only has one brains out. Like, he might have another electricity if he hasn't used it. I think he's only used one electricity. But he's out of shield, so I think I might have just won right here. Which is this like, game, where's my blooming hearts? <laughs> Why can't you give me a blooming heart and a winning combo? <laughs> There we go, we win this one, but with that being said, I'll try to get one more game in, and I won't like include it unless we win, or okay, maybe if we at least get the Blooming Heart in it, because I don't want to do one, you know, only one run with Blooming Heart in it, but uh, 
I can't guarantee that I can do that and win because I just feel like I don't want to be sitting here for like 70 hours. So I'll try it for one more time. Let's see if we can get that blooming heart. Okay, yet another, I've, I've been playing multiple games where you guys just haven't seen it because I'm not getting the card this video is supposed to be about. It's always so frustrating when that happens. It's so darn frustrating. Let's see what, he's just gonna let, let himself take that damage. Not gonna complain about it. You know what, if he has more cards to worry about when I finally get that wonderful blooming heart that maybe it just left my deck for no reason. Like, I don't understand what else could have happened. Uh, I sort of wish he could have played that, you know, on the ground, that way I could use this, but you know what, I can do that, and it works out just as well, so I might as well try it. He was trying to, like, outmatch my damage there, but he has to understand that uh, I can just sort of do the same thing. So he's actually gonna Gravestone it, which, honestly, not too worried about. Unless he has, like, you know, like a Gravestone zombie guy in the next turn, you know, which he's trying, like, attempting to boost up. But even if he does, it shouldn't be that bad. Oh, he does? That's exactly what he was planning. Sorry, man, I saw right through you there. So we can actually get a great combo here. I can get rid of Yoon. I can boost Yoon. Or not boost Yoon, what am I talking about? But <laughs> I can uh, do that. And there we go, we're good. We're gonna lose one of our buff shrooms, which stinks because I want to play the buff shroom next turn, but that's okay. I can still play the buff shroom next turn, play the pine clone the turn after that if I need to. And that's a scary setup. If right now, we're doing some good damage. Just no! Okay, there she is. I was like, there's none of her. Where is she? <laughs> she has a VIP access entrance to this game and she's not here. Well, finally she is. She took her time. Okay, that doesn't look fun, but we could do some stuff with this, I think. Let's go ahead and put you here. Put you here. And even if, even if she immediately gets destroyed this turn, I do not care. It counts just because I don't want to be sitting here and playing the game for... You know, seven billion hours on end when I need to be recording the next episode and the next episode. It just, ugh. We've really shown off, like, obviously, my big focus is showing off the concept of the card itself, and I feel like we've done that decently enough. No, it's deadly! Gosh darn it, what is, why are you so mean to me? So mean. It's all it is, just being mean. Okay, well, you know what, I'm showing you my wrath for sure. Wrath will be shown by, you know, throwing down some of this. <laughs> There is some wrath for you. Hope you enjoy. And it's a pogo. You know what? Who are you gonna pogo? Because honestly, I don't care if you pogo the puff shroom. Because you pogo the puff shroom, will I get both of them back? I don't think so. It's possible though. Okay, that's not that big of a scare. Do two damage there, so you're gonna get rid of everything. I mean, you have 20 health to turn through. I have seven, so that's pretty good. Yeah, but a boom. All right, and we're already halfway to you know our full shield here, our first shield too. Okay, so I have six, so I can't quite pull off what I was expecting to pull off here. I might as well just like I want to slam him just to get him out of the way because he's really being a pain in the booty. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna play you here. Next turn, I want to play the wild berry. Wow, that's gonna be a lot of damage, but I'm still gonna be doing something to him. But I want to be able to play, you know, this and then this, and then hopefully, you know, that's a fair balance of the pine clones. Maybe I'll even get another card to be able to play. Can this be a shield? It is not a shield. So I'm still ahead of him in health, but maybe not for long. Okay, okay, okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Why does that have to be eight? Come on. Insane, insane indeed. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put you here. And then I guess I'll, well, I didn't really want you to do that, but you know what, fine, that's okay. That's okay, I'll make it work. That way we're gonna actually be able to take care of both, you know, this dumpster imp, whatever his name is, is that the same? Stealthy imp, <laughs> no, he's a dumpster imp. Don't tell me anything, but you're gonna bounce that, really? I don't mind that at all, because that's gonna be a shield activation right now. Ooh, okay, who do I wanna get rid of? Probably you, because you are at a tactical advantage there that will hurt me in the long run, so. Get rid of you, hit you like this, and then do another three damage to you there. Oh, this is gonna be too close, man. Too, too close indeed. Okay. Who do we wanna deal with? Who do we wanna deal with first, maybe, is a better question. Um, I'll go ahead and just put you here. You're gonna bounce to the other side, of course. Doesn't matter too much. And if I throw this out, we'll turn the pine clones into pine clones. Because if so, that'll give that one pine clone a full refill. 
It does not. Oh, that's so lame. Come on, turn the pine clones into pine clones. That way, you know, I get a full refill on my pine clone. That would have been so much better. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. I'm still taking, you know, a sincere advantage here. And we, we did shove the blooming heart this round, so if I could just win, that'd be great. You're gonna move him. Oh, is, no, he, I was gonna say, is he uh, water resistant <laughs> or whatever the word is? He's obviously not, but there we go, we did win. So we showed up the blooming heart, quote unquote, this round, and we won. Good enough for me. <laughs> and we got 200 gems out of there, 195 gems out of this, so that was pretty darn cool. But with that being said, I think we're gonna finish it up, or not gems, what are the tickets? Tickets, not stickers, not gems, tickets. With that being said, I think that's where we're gonna finish it up. That was the Blooming Heart. Feel free to let me know any strategies you have with her and things you'd like to do with it. I heard it's a good combo when you also have the, um, you know, the hot date that we showed off in the previous episode on Spadow. That sounds pretty darn awesome. But that's gonna be it. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies Heroes. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watch this point of video, make sure you comment Blooming Zebra so I know you've watched in the video and that you are a Zebra Tassie viewer. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.